Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am not in my original room when I do a Jesus and coffee. <laughs> Excuse the noise outside. Um, there is a daycare across the street, and um, well, as long as as well as a school. Um, and yeah, it is. It is actually late in the afternoon. I'm filming this. Usually I, I do um, Jesus and coffee in the mornings, but I do have my beverage and it says woman of the word and I love it. I don't drink iced coffee. I drink iced water. <laughs> mm. I know it's been a minute since we did a Jesus and coffee and that's all my fault um but I figured we can put it in October's of October I hope you guys are doing well um those of you have who have clicked on God bless you guys um today I just want to talk about um having a relationship with God I know I I've talked about it in the past but um the holidays are coming up and these next three months are usually hard on on a lot of people they're they're hard on a lot of people and having a relationship um with god just makes makes things easier and i was telling a sister the other day like because she's going through something and i was like you know what good thing that you have a relationship with the lord because Imagine you going through something, what you're going through, and you didn't have that relationship. Like, where would you be? Like, what would you turn to? What, you know, what would you do? You know, um, I know some of you guys who have been following me for years, you guys know mine and Anthony's testimony. Um, but for instance, I'm going to use Anthony as an example. Um, I could use myself as an, an example too, but as a more recent example on why we came to the Lord. Um, you know, he, he was in a depression and, and Anthony, for those of you who don't know, is my husband. And, um, we weren't serving the Lord. We weren't serving the Lord. So, you know, he didn't turn to anything specifically drinking drugs, anything like that. He didn't turn to anything like that, but, he was in a state of depression where he didn't know how to get out of, of that depression. And um, so that's what led us to church. Now, more me than him. And the reason why I say that is because I didn't know how to help him. I didn't know what to do. I never dealt with depression. I've never been depressed. Um, I've never had anybody that close as an adult pass away um so i never i never suffered for from depression um so i didn't know what to do i didn't know how to help him i helped him as much as i could you know and it just got bad it, and it and it lasted a whole year it was our our first year of marriage and I didn't know if I could deal with it anymore. And, you know, I knew we tried different, different things, you know, um, grieving classes and all that stuff, you know, but nothing was working. Nothing helped. Nothing helped. Finding him a hobby. I mean, anything to get his mind off of the situation. You know, we tried everything. I would call his parents to come and spend time with him, you know. a drink <laughs> um I would call them you know to spend time with him and vice versa like I would tell him you know um like go to your parents house you know and and so you know he would go and and it still wasn't working I I took him to a giant scheme thinking like okay this is it it was my first game ever okay and I think it was his first game in years and 
it didn't work, you know? And so I'm like, wow, like, I don't know what else to do. I, I don't know, you know, where where to go. But I did know who God was. I, I did know that God can do anything. I did know that only God can, can fix this situation, you know? And that's when I started looking for a church and I found a church and, and Anthony, he got delivered from depression and now he has a relationship with the Lord. If he were to have gone through this depression with having a relationship with God, it would have been so much easier. It would have been so much easier to, to get out of it because he knows God is God. He knows what God can do. He knows that he can get delivered. He knows all of that stuff. And so that is why it is important. I say all of this because it is important to have a relationship with God. If you don't know God, if you're watching this and you don't know who God is, he is somebody who came, who was born, who, who, died on the cross for your sins and who resurrected for you. And he is somebody who loves you, who wants a relationship with you and who cares for you so much that he died on that cross for you, but he, he rose back and he loves you and he wants you to want him and serve him and and build that relationship if you do know who god is he wants that same thing for you you know and having a relationship with god and coming up to to these um months coming you know and and i'm not saying you know these months that are come coming that you've gone through through something these months could be like the best months of your life i'm speaking to those who who don't have a relationship and are are struggling to even get through this month because you know that these months are coming November December you know um it's family it's friends it's uh, good times you know but in a lot of especially after covid a lot of people lost people you know and especially in these months and when you have a relationship with God, you know, it's like having a relationship with anybody, like your mom, your dad, your your brother, your sister, your friends. You you want to see them. Okay? I'm not saying that that it's in the their that relationship is in the place of of God. What I'm saying is it's the relationship, okay? You want to see them. You talk to them on a daily you um get to know them you just you know like like a husband and a wife you know when you guys are first dating you know you you call each other you get to know somebody you know you you know their their likes and their dislikes you know when um they're calling you you when they're at a at a store and you're at the store and they're like hey you know their voice that's how close we should be with God is to hear his voice when he calls. So building a relationship with God is what? You're praying, you're reading, you're worshiping, okay? And you're studying and you're learning of, of who he is. If you don't get into your studying, if you don't get into also fasting, if you don't get into your reading, if you don't get into um, your praying and your worshiping, you're not going to know who God is. That relationship is not going to be built. That's like putting two people in a room that don't know each other, okay? So you're putting two people in a room that don't know each other. If they don't talk to each other, they're never going to know who each other is, right? So if you don't talk to God, if you don't read his word, which is the Bible, 
You're not going to know who he is if you don't pray and commune with God because that's what he wants. He wants you to commune with him. You're not going to know who he is. You're not going to know what he can do. You're not going to know that he can take you out of situations. You're not going to know that he is your defender. You're not going to know that he is your counselor. You're not going to know that he is your provider. You're not going to know that he loves you. You're not going to know that you are the apple of his eye. You're not going to know that he died for you. You're not going to know that he went he went down and got stole those keys back and and he 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 conquered the grave, okay? You're not going to know any of this unless you read the Bible, unless you study, unless you fast, unless you pray. You're not going to know his voice. You know, a lot of people say we know the enemy's voice more than we know God's. And that is so true. We know what the enemy says about us. The enemy calls us many names. We are not worthy. We're dumb. We're, we'll never amount to anything. You know, God doesn't love you. Um, these next three months are coming and you're just going to, you know, fall back into your hole. No. Like, tell the enemy to shut up. Because God is great. And God will be there for you. God will cover you and, and protect you and love you. And he will show up when you need him to. But we need that relationship. We need that relationship with God. And it's crazy because, you know, we can we can make time for so many other things. Binge watching on whatever you have. Netflix, Hulu, Disney, I don't know, whatever you guys have. <coughs> watching youtube videos over and over and over focusing on and doing other things but you don't have time for god like you really want god if you don't make time for god and you're calling out to god god's just waiting for you he's waiting for you to call out to him but if you're not if you don't have a relationship with him and you're doing this and God's over here waiting for you and, and your back's turned towards him and he's just waiting and you're like, God, how come you're not blessing me? God, how come you're not, how come you're not, you know, doing this and that and this and that? And God's just waiting like, because you don't talk to me. You don't have a relationship with me. Like get to know me. I'm not saying God is not going to do what God's going to do. He'll do what he's going to do. But that's like, that's like a parent, you know, a parent and a child, you know, your, your child is always in their room, always in their room and on social media and they're not talking to you. And, and, you know, they're like, mom or dad, you know, like, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Okay. Well, I would be like, you haven't even talked to me all day. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, you just want me for things? <laughs> you know, it's like, that would hurt my feelings. That would hurt my feelings. Like, if I had a child and, and my child never talked to me and was always in the room and, and only came out when they wanted stuff, like, that would hurt me. Wouldn't it hurt you? You know, and it's like, we, we need that relationship with God. If you have a relationship with God, praise God, because... I never had a glass straw and I like it. <laughs> because you know that it is so important. It is so important to know who God is. It is so important to, to build that relationship. It is so important to know your authority in the Lord. And, and just to know that he's always going to be there for you. And that he loves you. And, and just to know when he, when he does speak to you. You know it's him. You know it's God. And you're, you will know what to do when you're in situations like that. Like you will know what to do. And, and I know because I speak from experience, you know, us as Christians, you know, we get attacked by the enemy, you know, it's called spiritual attacks, you know, and, and a few weeks ago, you know, I was feeling attacked, you know, and 
it was it was a, a feeling that I already knew I have been delivered from. And I was like, hold up, like, wait a minute. Like, no, like I've been delivered from this. I know what this is. I know what you're trying to do enemy. Like you need to go. Like I serve a mighty God. I know my authority. I know my place. I know who I am in Christ. I know what God calls me. And like, no, you're not going to take my joy. You're not going to have this. Like, no, you need to leave. Like, get out. Because I I, I knew my authority. I, I know who God is in my life. I have that relationship. I do spend time with God. Yeah, sometimes sometimes I do struggle. You know, they're like, I'll give you a perfect example. Last, last week, you guys seen me? I was crafting like almost all week. I had to go do things and stuff like that. And yes, I was mindful of the Lord. I, I always acknowledge God and I do pray, but I was lacking on reading my word. And I felt in my spirit, like I was distant and that's just one week. Okay. And I'm just like, Lord, I'm so glad all this is over because I need to get back to where I, I was, I need to get back to where I was and I need to keep pushing forward, you know? And so my spirit was like, Lord, I long for you. Like I long to be in your presence. I long to be in your word. I long to, to get to know you and, and to, to, for you to speak to me. Like I long for that, you know? And I, 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 Honestly, being honest with you guys, I repented. I'm like, Lord, forgive me for being too busy. And thank God he is a loving, forgiving God, you know, but we get so caught up in life and we don't make that time for God. That's why he should be a priority. And I'm preaching to myself. He should be a priority every single day, every single morning. So I'm glad, like, <laughs> I don't have to do all that stuff. You know, what I did last week, you know, now I can focus and get back on schedule. And and when it comes up again, I need to be like, nope, I need to do what the Lord wants me to do first. And that is make time for him. So with that being said, I'm going to end out this Jesus and water, Jesus and coffee. And um, yeah, I want to to um, add some more. I know October, October is almost over. Isn't this a cute cup? Um, October is almost over. And I, I do want to implement more of um, Jesus and coffee. It's actually easier than vlogging because <laughs> sometimes my vlogs ain't happening. <laughs> but um, I know throughout the months, I, I will also be adding um, Jesus and coffee. And if I don't, I apologize. <laughs> but um, but I, I, I like to talk to you guys about the Lord. And I know I know some of you um, like it also. And I. I'm sorry that I haven't posted Jesus and coffee in a while. I apologize. It is my fault, like I said. And, um, but yeah, um, so I am going to end out this Jesus and coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I just encourage you to start praying. Start somewhere, you know, start praying, start reading. There's a Bible app I've told you guys before, um, the Holy Bible app, um, and you can listen to it. You don't have to just, you don't have to read it. Listen to it, you know, and get some, some word in, in, in your, in your ear, in your heart, in your mind and, um, worship, get some worship music going and just worship the Lord. And if you are going to sh thinking of struggling <laughs> these next couple of months, if you just apply those three things to your life, I guarantee you, you're going to come out of that triumphant and better and more powerful. And then uh, at New Year's, you're going to be like, man, this was a piece of cake this year. Why? Because God was with me. 
He is always with you. As long as you receive him and accept him, he will always be there with you. All right, you guys, we will see you guys. God bless you and we'll see you soon tomorrow. Bye.